Hello there class, welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Professor Whittington. Be an absolute legend by signing in the register by leaving a comment down below, just like these stunning individuals did last time around. In this step, I'm gonna be taking you through the process of just neatening up your blueprints a little bit. And in order to do that, I'm gonna be using reroute nodes and comments. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so here we go. In this step, we're gonna set about making our blueprints look a little bit tidier. So from the previous step, we were left with this, which is a little bit messy and difficult to follow. You've got the wires going behind nodes and it's a little confusing to look at. So we're gonna try and rearrange this so that it's easier to look at. So the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna have the main execution pins and wires going all across the top. So what I'm gonna do is just sort of move this up so that I get a pretty straight line, which I believe is there. That's not straight at all, is it? No, that's not straight, let's move it down a touch. That's pretty straight. Okay, so now we can make some more changes from here. So I'm just gonna move this to here so I can see what's happening there. And what else is happening? I'm pretty happy with that. I can see where that's going. I'm just gonna tuck that in a little bit. That looks okay. And then let's have a look where some of these pins are going that are quite confusing to look at. So this vector length here, we can see this is quite confusing and difficult to follow. So I think what I'm gonna do is bring it down and sort of change the, the route. So I think what I'll do is just here, I'm gonna double click on this wire and that will add a reroute node. So with that selected, I can then drag it and use that to put it down here. And then I can move this down to get this straight. Again, you don't need to have straight lines. Um, it just helps with my OCD if things can be straight if possible. And then we've got the same sort of issue here with this one that's going behind a few of these nodes. So let's zoom in here. I'm gonna double click on this, get myself a new reroute node and bring that down. Uh, that suggests now that that one's not straight. Let's move that up a bit. That's pretty cool. So that's easier to look at so far. And then I think the rest of it, there are no overlapping wires. So that's a lot neater. Yeah. So there are still things that I could do with this just to try and keep things a little easier on the eye. So I'm just going to try and keep things in a line where I can. It's not ever so important. Uh, it's just something that helps me sleep at night if I know that things are, aren't any less neat then they don't have to be. <laughs> so, I think that looks pretty cool. I think for consistency, I'm gonna move that down there because I've got the same on the other side. Okay, so that's pretty pretty neat now. Much easier to follow. Um, we've got a couple of wires that overlap, but none that are completely hidden. And now what I want to do is comment this. So I'm probably gonna put some comments within comments for this so that I know which bits are doing what. And for that reason, I'll probably move things around a little bit more. So let's just move that along here. Oh, I didn't want to move that one. So let's select all of these and I'm just going to move them along a little bit. Over this way. It's very nice. Okay. And then we know that this area here, well, this one specifically, is clamping the ball speed. So I'm going to select these, these two nodes and then comment clamp ball speed so I know exactly what that's responsible for and then this section of maths here I'm also going to comment and this is going to set to 90 degree angles so that I can remember what that bit's responsible for and then the whole thing I'll put in a comment and I'm going to call that um, speed and angle of ball. And that will really neaten that up. I know exactly what I'm looking at now. Plus, when I want to neaten things up later, I can click and drag the whole lot around, which makes it a lot easier. And then just so that I know what I'm looking at here, um, I'm going to comment this one. Speed. Oh, that's how you spell speed speed and angle and I'll know that they go together 
this one's going to be launch ball and this one here is also to do with launch ball and I'm probably going to call this one event so that I don't get them confused and then I can just line those up so that they look nice and neat together beautiful okay so that's looking pretty neat I don't need to do any neatening up of this one because that's pretty pretty clean but the ball now looks much better easy to follow so I'm going to compile that and save it and now we're ready to move on to the next step I believe that quality education should be available to everybody and for that reason all of the classes at Game Dev Academy are completely free and we're supported by our very generous school governors over at Patreon. If you'd like to become a Game Dev Academy governor and support our work as well as helping us to steer the channel in the right direction then use the link in the description to be taken to the Patreon page.